Are photographs of climbers queuing on the Hillary Step evidence that Everest is becoming more dangerous? It is certainly true that spending an extra hour or two in queues above 8,000 meters increases the risk of altitude sickness and frostbite. Therefore, it seems reasonable to assume that such crowding would lead to higher death rates and lower success rates. However, the data reveals something truly fascinating. This assumption appears to be incorrect. In 2019, 65.9% of all summit attempts happened on just two days, May 22nd and May 23rd. Surprisingly, the probability of reaching the summit was 92.4% on these two days, compared to 90.5% on less crowded days. Similarly, the probability of dying was 1% on these two days, compared to 1.2% on less crowded days. There was no significant difference. In 2018, a similar pattern was observed. During that year, 58.2% of all summit attempts occurred over just four days, May 16th to 19th. Although the probability of reaching the summit was slightly lower on these crowded days, 91.1% compared to 95.3% on less crowded days. The difference was not statistically significant. Importantly, there were no deaths during summit attempts on either crowded or uncrowded days in 2018. This finding may seem counterintuitive, but it suggests that while Everest is indeed becoming more crowded, it has not yet reached a level of overcrowding that significantly increases the danger of climbing. When you look at it from another angle, there's a reason why so many climbers pick these crowded days. The weather is significantly better, making the climb safer overall. On Everest, weather poses a much greater risk than overcrowding. As long as expedition operators manage the risks effectively, such as by ensuring climbers carry extra oxygen and adequately preparing them for longer days, it is generally safer to climb during crowded days with good weather than during less crowded days with riskier weather conditions. Special thanks to Mark Harrell for his insightful findings.